guys, I'm here. I'm in Chatel. We're literally in Chatel, which is in the French Swiss border, and I'm so excited. I didn't really vlog yesterday. I may have included like a little montage of us getting here, but we were so tired. We've been up since five and it took us ages to get here. But yeah, I'm so excited. We are here. It's not looking that green, but you can see in the distance there is snow and we are literally just about to leave. Yeah, this is the first time I've come here. And let me show you, it's not the whitest down in Chatel village itself. Normally it's completely covered in snow, but as long as there is snow on the mountains, that is all that matters. So let me quickly show you. So as you can see, this is where we're staying. I'm currently on our balcony and it is very green. Normally everything is white, covered in snow, like a beautiful winter wonderland, but it's fine because if you look, let me zoom you in. You can see within all the fog, up there there is snow and we get a gondola all the way up and yeah we're gonna go there so i'm so excited to bring you guys along for this skiing trip we're literally here for four days so yeah we're just about to head out hit the slopes we've got our skis yesterday obviously me and dad have got our own boots james we've got to get his boots and his skis and then we're gonna hit the slopes i'm not gonna bring my camera for obvious reasons because it's too much risk so a lot of this i'm vlogging on my phone i'm gonna kindly see if my dad or my brother will film bits so yeah let's get skiing and i hope you guys enjoy if you do then please remember as always to leave a huge thumbs up and please remember to subscribe if you haven't already so yeah i'm so excited let's hit the slopes my hair is in braids this is the first time i've plucked my hair in years but yeah let's live my chalet girl fantasy i'm so excited on our way to get our ski stuff and um, first things first because this is the first for me because i haven't there's no snow i'm in sliders Guys, there's snow. I'm so, actually, I'm so excited. I could cry. Like, I'm so excited. So, guys, first hour of skiing done. Getting to grips with it, really enjoying it. But we're actually at our the speed track, which we all know and love because everyone gets really competitive to how fast they can go. So I think James is going to go first. So let's see who the fastest. Guys, an unexpected turn of events. This one here wants a rematch because I beat him. <laughs> what did you get, James? Yeah, yeah, 49. And what did I get? 59. So, some wants a rematch, but I think I'm still going to beat him. I actually can't believe it, though. Come on, James, you can do better than that. Although we do a lot of skiing, we do do a lot of sitting down, having some food, having some coffees. I mean, I've been that person, let me show you. I've been that person where I've got myself a tuna salad and then chips, but I'm sorry. I literally didn't need to get myself a side of chips because James and Dad's portions are more than enough. Like, how many? Like, I'm not going to finish that, but at least it's good portion sizes you get to be paid for. So I've already fallen over once and I'm hoping that is my only fall and it's literally on the flattest blue. I generally don't know how I've done it and I've already conquered day one. There is one slope that I literally hate because when we normally go, we always have to rush down this slope to get the last lift. But first day, already done it. But yeah, let's sit, let's chill because skiing is a workout. Hi guys. So we're back from our first day of skiing. It went so well. I've actually got an app on my phone uh, my dad actually just did it. it's called ski tracks and it basically like tracks how every day like how fast you go like the highest you climb how many runs you do and all that and do you know what i'm quite proud because it says on here that i done 61.3 was my fastest kilometers per hour that was the fastest i went we went 26.9 kilometers and done about 15 runs it's actually like tells you it all so yeah i'll basically be tracking it and it tells you like what slopes you've done so yeah we had a really 
good day. Literally tackled all the hard runs that I'm not that aren't really my favourite, including the one that goes down into Chatel. Honestly, that one is a workout because it's quite slushy. So my thighs after a full day skiing, getting down that, it did make you work for it. But honestly, if you know, you know the feeling of taking off your ski boots at the end of the day, oh, it's the best feeling, having a shower, like I might, I don't know if I'm going to put a bit of makeup on, you know, I'm kind of just like vibing with the, just vibing with the no makeup, we went and had another drink, I love the fact they have like strawberry juice here, so I had a vodka strawberry, James had a hot chocolate actually, it looked really nice, like literally like that much squirty cream, still haven't had a hot chocolate yet, but yeah, best thing about skiing is sitting having a drink so yeah first day ticked i had such a good day and yeah there's definitely a lot more snow than it is down in chatel so that is really good bearing in mind that i don't think we really had a lot of snow this year because i remember seeing loads of tiktoks um of people going skiing at christmas and there was literally nothing so yeah and it's quite quiet today as well because saturday is usually a change up day but fingers crossed it stays like that because there's one thing about worrying about yourself when you're skiing let alone worrying about other people but yeah really good day i'm really happy now to take off all your thermals take off my ski boots the fact as well that i'm literally walking into chatel like the main village in my sliders didn't even think that was going to be a thing i literally only brought my sliders just to go to breakfast in and now i'm literally walking there because there's no snow like why am i gonna put on snow boots when I come my sliders, but yeah, we found a few restaurants that we won't mind eating. The only thing I would say is I completely forgot because I don't eat meat. I'm a pescatarian, so it's not too bad, but trying to find places to eat that aren't just meat, it is a lot harder in France, especially like skiing. So I need to give a shout out to my sister because she's a full on veggie that she needs to do her research before she comes. But we found a few places that do some really nice food. So I'm actually, after filming this, going to give them a quick call and see if I can make a reservation. And yeah, I need to finish editing my pack remover scheme, which is going up on Sunday. Which got tomorrow, actually. Tomorrow's Sun. No, tomorrow Friday. No, tomorrow's it's Saturday today. It's going up. Oh my God, it's going up to the, tomorrow. I need to get that sorted. I keep thinking it's I kept thinking it was Friday today. Oops. Okay. Need to get that sorted because I need to get that uploaded. So yeah, I'll check back with you guys in a bit. Maybe show you what I've got to eat. But yeah, I'm really loving just the comfy, cozy minimum effort vibe. But yeah, first day skiing ticked and yeah, had the best time. everyone so it's a brand new day the sun is very bright but another day of skiing i keep getting so confused with the days yesterday i thought it was it was friday but it's not it's actually sunday today so day two of four and you know what it actually the workout to actually get to the lift is i feel that's more of a workout than it is actually skiing but lovely james decided to carry my skis today but yeah i'm really excited we're going to go over to another side of the slopes and have hopefully another good day and of course hope y'all get some cute montages of us skiing it's a lot busier today as well because the joys of skiing on a saturday is actually usually a change over day for most people so we've definitely noticed a few more people on slopes today but nothing near as how many there normally is at half term so yeah let's go guys so it is the next day sorry i didn't vlog yesterday after skiing i was absolutely absolutely shattered literally yeah so tired so we literally yesterday spent the majority of the day over in prelegeur which is like the furthest part of our ski pass and the slopes there are really good they're nice and long they're nice and wide like i really enjoyed it um, but someone had a bright idea, so I'm just doing my skincare 
for the morning before we go downstairs for breakfast but um my brother had the smart idea of why don't we try and ski back which included my all-time favorite slope and i realized why i don't like it because a lot of it is in the shade like when it gets to four o'clock and if you know you know skiing in the shade it's not always the best thing because you can never tell if you're skiing on like soft snow or something that's a little bit more powdery a little bit less there so yeah um it was a lot of effort um getting down so we kind of got to like halfway um where the ski lift and we just decided to get the bus back because yeah i'd had enough by then but yeah it was a really good day so i really enjoyed it i think we're gonna go back over there today as well honestly i was so tired i was in bed by by 11 like i was out at 11 so we're an hour ahead so that's like 10 o'clock uk time and we woke up at 8 so i had a good solid nine hours sleep and i really needed it but we went to the most stunning restaurant yesterday i'll have to put it down like somewhere here and let you guys know because honestly i'll insert like a clip or some pictures of like what me and my dad and my brother had because the food was insane like insane like honestly the food's been good the whole time like we had cheese fondue one night i mean you can't you can't go skiing without having some cheese fondue that was honestly amazing but yes they were so so nice the only thing i'd say is if you do come to like chatel or near this area and you do want to eat there a hundred percent book because we i basically just googled restaurants in the area and i found that one i gave them a call to book for yes um no to book for the day before and they were full so i said oh we'll back tomorrow which was yesterday for three people and they literally only had nine nine o'clock so if you do want to come then i suggest booking but oh my god the food was amazing so a great day skiing great food i was ready for bed so sorry i didn't vlog but as you can see i'm doing my skincare I'm ready to go down for breakfast and then yeah another day of skiing i usually am the last one down the slope so i've said to my dad and my brother if you can get some clips of us skiing or me skiing i'll try and get some clips of you skiing then it can all go on the vlog but yeah let's go down let's go have breakfast and here's to day three of skiing I'm on the train headed back to indiana the rain is forming into rivers outside writing down all the things that i miss and in the letters you take form No, I won't go back tonight With the habits of the restless me I'm leaving all that stuff behind We can start all over In our hometown Running free It could be I know literally a couple of minutes ago you saw me doing my morning skincare and now it is the evening and I'm doing my evening skincare. Hair is in new pink towels. I know I've literally had plaits the entire time but honestly it is just the easy style when I'm skiing. It keeps my bangs out, it just keeps everything out of the way and it's also really really comfy underneath my helmet so i've just been living in french plaits probably looking like i'm probably about 14 but i will i literally find it hilarious i've literally spent half my life probably from the age of about since i've been born to about the age of 17 18 and trying to prove that i'm younger than i am because i literally my mum used to have to carry on passport to prove that i was like under 12 if they had like cheap offers because i was five foot eight at the age of 10 so yeah to now have to prove that i am actually my age so i've suddenly gone from looking older than i am to looking younger but yeah the pink towels make me look like i am about 14 but yeah sorry guys i probably have been the most talkative in these skiing videos but i hope i've gone you some cute montages i think my dad got a really cute one but i didn't realize he's actually following me down the slope so commitment from my dad there so yeah we had another really good day we went back over to pleasure we did a lot more skiing today than i fall he seemed a lot more chill today but honestly guys when my dad told me that we were going skiing for only i think four four days i was like oh we usually go for seven. Oh my god I don't know how I used to hack skiing for a week. I think the only reason I can think of that got me through it was the fact that normally when we used to go skiing for a whole week, there used to be sometimes over 20 of us. 
And getting 20 people down a slope means you normally have more stops, whereas three of us going down a slope, we end up doing a lot more. So yeah, I'm absolutely shattered. It's probably literally only like 10 o'clock and I am getting ready for bed because I need at least eight hours sleep so that when we get up early tomorrow for about half past seven, I feel fresh and ready for our final day. So yes, tomorrow is our final day. We're actually flying home tomorrow night. We're flying at about half past nine. So it literally still gives us like basically a full day of skiing. We're gonna stay over in the town where we are at the minute and just do some really nice chill runs. I might try and get my brother to get some footage for me. My dad get some photos. I got my brother to try and take some Instagram pictures for me today and yeah he actually did all right so yeah let's see if we try and maybe get some more tomorrow but honestly i've had the best time i've missed it so so much i've literally you guys are probably so bored of me talking about how much i've wanted to go skiing and now i've done it and i'm here also excuse me love an old like t-shirt to get ready with before we go to bed but yeah i've literally had the best time what we're talking about next year and just yeah i'm generally having the best time so that is basically my skincare all done and i am gonna go to bed because i've shattered enough for pizza tonight i'm so full that's the only thing is when you go skiing is it's not always the healthiest food when you're on top of a mountain it's a lot of pasta burgers chips pizza a lot of carbs it is a lot of carbs even though you're burning like you are also eating like, like, yeah, I've been looking forward to every morning. We have breakfast, fruit, because honestly, I need my fruit and veg, but I've actually really loved this hotel. We're literally five, 10 minute walk away from our ski staff, from the ski lift. So I'll leave them linked down below because they're really affordable. And yeah, it's just, we come back here all the time. We have friends that actually have an apartment out here. So we really do love Chatel and the whole Port de Soleil area. We literally this time only got a Chatel pass, but that was plenty of us for four days. I think if we stayed any more, we'd probably done the whole Port de Soleil, gone over to Avorias. And even though the snow hasn't been the best this year, like I said, normally come in and it's like a massive winter wonderland, even in the village. This year it's been very green, but at least up on the slopes, we had so much snow. And yeah, I've generally had the best time. But yeah, I'm gonna go to bed last night here and then final day tomorrow. And let's hope it's as good as the rest of the day. So good night guys, and I will catch up with you in the morning. Take my love for granted Say a bunch of stuff you never meet, yeah off the day with of course can't come to this hotel without getting a crepe hi guys so as you can see i'm back in my bedroom i'm back home and i've just finished editing the vlog the skiing vlog honestly i had the best time and thank you so much if you have stuck around to the end i clearly brought the snow back with me because it has been snowing in the uk just a little bit where i live it hasn't settled but it's nice to bring a little bit of snow back as a reminder for the next few days 
honestly had the best time. I love skiing and I really hope it's something that I can keep doing every single year, making an annual thing like it used to be. So yeah, I just want to jump on here and close the vlog and say thank you so much if you have watched to the end. If you have enjoyed, then please remember as always to leave it a huge thumbs up and please remember to subscribe if you haven't already. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching today's video and I will see you next time with a brand new video. Bye!